Hello. Hello there. I just wanted to take a moment to respond to some comments uh, uh, on the GameCube and PlayStation 2 videos. Um, I just saw, thought there was some interesting stuff in there. And I uh, just wanted to get my thoughts down into, into video. Um, so feel free to interact with this if you want or not. I don't care. Uh, starting with cars. the GameCube, you think this is another shameless? Starting with cars, uh, apparently people really connected with this game, and um, I found that interesting because I never really grew up with this or anything. We have this guy here saying I played this so much, loved it at the time. I remember renting it from Blockbuster. That's a throwback. Throwback. Uh, I remember Blockbuster. I remember playing countless hours of this game. This guy 100% in this game, which I, uh, you know what, props to you for that. Uh, I honestly, as I said in the review, I found it like kind of meh overall. Um, it was, uh, to be quite honest, I didn't finish it um, just because like a lot of the missions were getting pretty samey and like they weren't bad. It just kind of droned on for a while um, and I just left it feeling like meh. Um, but you know what, like, I'm glad that there are people who connected with this. I didn't expect um, to get this kind of response from it. So, uh, yeah, it was cool. Um, moving on, most of the GameCube stuff was Sonic-related because this was about when I was um, into Sonic was when I was getting GameCube games. So I just wanted to get all the Sonic games I could on that console. And, yeah. Um, but starting with adventure one say here honest honestly the flaws of the dreamcast version aren't as bad as the dx version dreamcast version genuinely rivals mario 64 so for the first part of this comment i agree i've seen gameplay i've never played the dreamcast version myself i've watched a lot of uh i've watched footage of the dreamcast version i even there's a good video out there um, talking about the uh, the differences between the DX and the uh, Dreamcast version. And um, to be honest, yeah, I mean, the Dreamcast version, I mean, this game was originally a Dreamcast game, and um, Sonic Team doesn't have a great uh, track record with ports. So I, it makes sense, and I would believe that. Dreamcast version genuinely rivals Mario 64. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. But, <laughs> like, if the Dreamcast version is still Sonic, uh, Sonic Adventure, then I really don't see this rivaling Mario 64. I get that, like, people love this game. I love this game. But I, it's Mario 64, you know? It's kind of this, like, goliath of a game it's just so well made and like it, it's showing some cracks um today uh modern game design has kind of obliterated mario 64 but i think it's done it even harder to to sonic adventure um so i rivaling mario 64 I, I don't agree with that but like dreamcast version being better probably I would agree with that. If you have a Dreamcast, you probably already have Sonic Adventure, but uh, maybe try that if you don't. <laughs> uh, and then we'll move on to Adventure 2, which is my favorite of the adventure games. It's the one I played a lot more. It's actually, I played 2 before 1. Um, I, th I played it at a friend's house and everything. Uh, this guy says, your last video on Adventure 1 maybe decide to boot up the game again. Best decision ever. And uh, yeah, good for you. I thought it was bleh, I thought it was a good game, so I'm glad that uh, my videos can have that sort of uh, impact on people. Uh, moving on to Sonic Gems Collection, um, I was thinking buying this game, so your opinion really helps. Thanks. First, <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Again, nice. It's great to see that my videos can uh, have that sort of impact on the audience um i will say that if you're really considering buying a game i hope you're not just looking at me i doubt that you are just looking at my content but i would suggest um watching at least like 
like I feel like three videos is a good number. Just watch like three reviews on on Sony Gems collection to get like a more well rounded idea. Um, that's my general advice, but I'm glad either way that like um, my little videos can can help inform people on some stuff. So that was good. Uh, and then so Sonic Heroes um, kind of took off more than I thought it would. Um, I kind of, the, the attitude in this video was that I, I was kind of like pissed. I was a little bit of a rage gamer in this video. I don't hate it that much. I mean, I give it a four. If I'd really hated it, I would have given like a three or two. But um, we had some agreements. I, I thought this would be, um, <laughs> I thought this would be more controversial than uh, than it was. But I mean, we have two agreeing comments and uh, a disagreement, which is fine. Uh, actually, we'll might address that in a second. Um, but yeah, I uh, that's just how I feel. I feel like it's like not that good. <laughs> um, could have been cool but it, i don't think it was i still think this game is better than the majority of sonic games hey you know what if you enjoy this game more than most other sonic games good for you i enjoy sonic 06 more than most other sonic games so uh, i can't really be saying anything but uh, for this game in particular i don't really like it i don't think it's that good um mostly because of these <laughs> but uh anyway and we have Tony Hawk didn't have any comments on it. These ones, okay, this one was interesting. Uh, this is the FIFA 07 review. No offense, pal, but nobody's going to take this seriously because FIFA because it's FIFA 07 and you're American. Um, I get that this franchise is huge. It's fucking huge in, um, I mean, in general. But I believe it's like, like, crazy popular in like europe and and like markets outside of america it's because here in america we don't really we, we prefer american football over soccer so you know i i get where you're coming from on the american comment but that's a little uh that's a little uh, unfair i would say um because i can be an american and still know a thing or two or about soccer um but, you know, I, you know, if you feel this way, I can't do anything about it. Um, interesting that you felt strongly enough to comment on this video, but, you know, whatever. Also, I don't really care. Don't attack this guy or anything. I don't really give a fuck. Um, and then FIFA 09 didn't get anything. I liked the Jeopardy review, but I didn't get anything. Um, Kingdom Hearts. Got a few replies on it. Well, this is a returning. We got some returners. Um, yep, looks good. Story is boring and bosses are too hard. I think I think the bosses were. I'm trying to remember the bosses. I think they were fine. Like they they were challenging. I didn't think they were too hard, except for like the final stretch. Like that last boss had literally like four or five phases or something and that was just too much um but yeah I, I, yeah i do i don't think the story in this game is that good and it's kind of um you know i went into this game thinking like oh this is kingdom hearts so it's going to be very um heavy on the story and because everybody talks about the lore of kingdom hearts and all that sort of stuff and in kingdom hearts one it's really not that complicated and is kind of like not very interesting to me um you have your basic bad guy uh kidnaps it's really like a bad guy kidnaps princess uh go save them with a, a you know a few nuances in there but at the end of the day i mean yeah um and then we have the final mixes for the final mix versions gameplay is highly improved and music is fully orchestrated um, now I have a friend who plays a lot of Kingdom Hearts and I hear that the Final Mix version is superior as it usually is for this, for Kingdom Hearts 2 and, and et cetera. Um, but I did not play the Final Mix version, so I don't have much to say on that. I got the base version and I thought the base version was like 
fine. Like I, I, like I said, I didn't really like the combat, but it wasn't anything like terrible. It just was kind of boring. Um, so if the final mix fixes some of that stuff, then awesome. Um, and the music is fully orchestrated. Uh, cool. Uh, I hope they didn't mess with the tracks too much because I think the music was really good. But if they just orchestrated it, I think that'd be cool. And this guy says the orchestrated music is inferior. <laughs> uh, I haven't listened to the Final Mix versions of these soundtracks. I don't have anything to say. But generally, fully, like, sometimes MIDI or, you know, like this era of video game music is a little more. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little more synthetic. Um, and sometimes that has a certain charm to it. So, like, I, you know, it maybe kingdom hearts has that like i know there's a few games where um i wish i could name them but like they remaster the soundtrack and like the original sounds better because it's you know it, when you remaster a game you got to be careful in what you uh what you uh, Im try to improve per se and um when you touch the music it's like okay you don't want to mess with the feel or the vision um uh, or any of the sometimes the orchestration because that can kind of change the uh, the tone of the music and so you know i fully orchestrated is like a give or take like it can be good it can be bad so valid argument i would say um but you know you can feel however you want about it um kingdom hearts 2 i agree with your opinion thank you i thought kingdom hearts 2 was great I want to get into this series so bad. And I responded to this guy. I hear the HD bundle is a good deal. I mean, the HD collection, it's like 2.782 or so, some sh stupid shit like that. But, like, it has, um, I believe, all the previous games in the series. And you can get it for, like, the price of one regular game, which is amazing. So if you like Kingdom Hearts... Honestly, like, if you want to get Kingdom Hearts 2 on the uh, on the playstation 4 um and you don't mind paying full price and getting a bunch of other games with it like i would say go for it you know like if you like kingdom hearts 2 and you're not like me and you really enjoy kingdom hearts 1 um and you know you want to try birth by sleep or um what was the uh chain of memories you know like that's just a great deal <laughs> like i would totally recommend if you're ever thinking about getting into kingdom hearts get the hd bundle um because you're bound to find something enjoyable and you know just don't hold yourself i think um when you're when you're first trying out and this is general advice too about trying new games and buying collections don't hold yourself to playing every game on the collection like play whatever you enjoy and then if you want to keep going if you really want to keep going keep playing but don't be like, oh, I got all these games. Now I have to, I got to play every game on the collection. Because, like, that's how I felt for a while. Um, I know with, with Metroid Prime Trilogy, I felt that way. Like, I played Prime 1. I was like, oh, now I got to play Prime 2 and Prime 3. And luckily, I mean, those games were were really good. But I still felt like, oh, shit, you know. I didn't let myself get a break. So don't fall into that trap like I did. Uh, we got Sly Cooper. A 3D for the time it was in was still being learned, so not too far to far fetched to say it's just pre modern. They need to remaster it already. So this beginning part I feel like is sort of half true. I think nowadays we're kind of um <laughs> I was going to go all old man and say we're kind of spoiled with graphics. But, uh, I mean, like, listen, we had the previous generation, which I feel was the actual, like, 3D was being learned. Like, that was rough. The The PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, um, Sega Saturn generation was... That's when we were really, really learning how to use 3D. And I feel like this generation, with that Sly Cooper is on, PS2... Um, xbox gamecube like developers were developers were starting to learn the ropes of 3d 
they're starting to get a grasp of it. I feel like this generation in general was really solid because we got a huge leap in technology and, um, but it was still that 3d that people were finally getting a hold of. So I, pre-modern is a subjective term here, but I don't think that like, I still think my criticism of the, uh, of the graphics in this game are valid. Like when I said like the game doesn't, gameplay doesn't look that great i don't mean like oh it's low res and all the there's not enough polys and stuff i just mean like the art kind of looks off at points um and you know that's i don't really think that's a fault of technology like uh, like a lack of technology i think that's just like they needed more time to work on the lighting engine and um refining the character models um not like adding more polygons, but just making sure that they look good. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I kind of half agree and half don't agree. Um, and absolutely, they need to remaster this game. I know we got the HD collection on the PS3, but that was so long ago, and it really wasn't <laughs> like a full on. Um, I, I think what I really want is like a remake where they they build this game again from the ground up. They can fix um some of the issues i had and just make it look real pretty and i think that would be amazing um because the ps3 game was really just like hd resolution and that's it it was honestly i think it was a little more glitchy than the original too um but yeah totally a remaster would be amazing um <laughs> i didn't see this comment before a video uh i liked slide two uh I like Bentley. That's totally fair if you like Bentley. I just, um, I think I got like kind of spoiled by Sly because he has all those cool moves and you can climb on wires and like in this clip right here, he can sneak under stuff. He can, um, he can like shimmy around like small ledges and he just has so many moves that like I thought it was really cool. And, um, just straight up Bentley and Murray can't do that much stuff. So I didn't find them as enjoyable as Sly. Um, so yeah, I, that, that's basically it. But if you like Bentley, like hell yeah, go for it. Um, I thought they were fine. Uh, yes. And then Sly three didn't get anything. And then bounty hunter. I don't know why, but this game seems enjoyable. That may be because of my Jenga obsession. Well, I, the uh, the um, <laughs> the Lego Boba Fett should be a Lego Django Fett, man. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I thought it looked enjoyable too. So I got this game. Um, this came with my my PS4. Uh, it was like a Star Wars bundle that came with my PS4. Um, and I thought this game looked amazing. Like, I was I was excited to try it. You could, in the first line, I'm like, a Star Wars bounty hunter game it sounds like a cool idea. Um, but actually playing it, uh, it, was, it was rough, you know? Like, it felt fine, but, like, it was just kind of bland and confusing and... Um, you know, I I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if it you know if it looks cool, I would still just kind of stay away because I don't think it plays that cool. But you know, I'm not gonna stop you. If you want to try it, try it. Just you know, I warned you. Um, <laughs> and then this guy says L. I guess he didn't like my opinion, which is uh, actually not not okay. Uh, when you watch my videos, you have to agree with everything I say. Otherwise, I'm going to ban you. Um, so. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it. Um, there's more videos here, which you're not allowed to see yet because they haven't come out on YouTube. Um, but they will be coming out uh, eventually. So stay tuned for that. If I get comments on those, I'll respond to some comments there. Um, I don't really like responding to comments on TikTok. Um, because I like this longer form content for this sort of stuff. And also it kind of muddies up my feed and I like how nice and pretty it looks. So um, if you want to see reviews early, you can go to TikTok. If you're here from, from TikTok, um, 
stick around. I will be responding to more uh, comments as, as they come in. But uh, for now, that's that's going to be it. Yeah. Thank you for watching.